Welcome back. Doing another video today. I decided to do the Florida Utah class battleships. I, I like the turret layout. I think it has a interesting one. I do have to unlock the the ship hulls for this because I need this hull right here. It doesn't have to be that large. I can actually shrink it down and get myself a barbette here oh, I'll go ahead and do this and it was a it was a steam turbine from what I saw a semi oil uh, give forest give it give it some good stuff here <coughs> excuse me just finished eating and I don't think I drank enough to push everything down here. I will admit, all of this in the protection area, and uh, the barbette, torpedo, flood, reinforcements, I'm guessing. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, I am guessing. I really have no idea what most of these ships were like. And I need the cage mast because it is an American battleship. Secondary tower. Again. I think I can put it right there. I think it's the 12-inch turret right there. Funnels. It had dual funnels. Let's see. I'll go with that type. That should... Yeah, 100% engine efficiency there. The only thing I don't like is the style of the 12 inch turret now I, I wish I could do like the 13 inch turret right here you know that type design but alas it will not be sorry to me it, it gives a look like a Italian battleship here now I'm gonna need uh, to use my fingers on this because I need to adjust the turret right here because it does face backwards. And that's actually kind of what I liked about it, is the fact that those two guns are back to back. You don't see it very often. And now I need 15 five inch guns, I mean 16 five inch guns, so I need eight on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were two kind of 1.5 inch guns. No, they were probably more this style. Which I'll, I'll just place them on there. Don't really know exactly where. They were probably more on the superstructures. I do have tw two torpedo tubes. There we go. And get myself a... I'm going to go with the tube powder. Increase this. Can I get it up to 21 inches? No, I can't. Only 19. Range finder. I'll go with that one. And the uh, armor was actually 11 to 9. It had that type of uh, format right there. From what I saw, the deck was 1.5 inches, so that's what I'm going to use for both numbers right there. Cunning Tower was 11.5. Turret was 12 inches. I didn't see anything about the turret top, and the uh, secondaries was 5 inches. So, that's where we will go. Oh, I need to adjust the speed here. It wasn't a 25 knot ship. I hate the new slider. Come on, there we go. 21 knots. 
Uh, 26,000 tons. I think it actually came in real life was a little bit lighter than that. But, uh, that's how we'll, we'll go. There it is. The Florida. I'll rename it instead of Nevada. I'll give it the Utah. Battleship of Pearl Harbor. Oh, not really battleship. It was a already kind of decommissioned it was a more of a uh, auxiliary target ship um, uh, I don't think it was a target I think it was a gunnery practice gunnery ship it's a small battleship right there and let's take a look at what these guys look like Oh, okay. What, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 gun broadside there? Probably 12, 13 inch. Maybe more. Let's see, 3 inch, 4 inch. Of course, 7 inch. And, no, 12 inch. But I'm still... Still outgunned. Rising on up. Oh, this one needs to reload. Come on, reload, buddy. Well, one fired. Huh, it reloaded. I guess they're they're zeroing in. Zeroing in on the targets. Let's see. How far away are they? Can I get that number? Sixteen kilometers. And they have not fired back yet. Well, maybe I can get a hit in. Be nice. Oh, incoming, let's see. Looks like full broadsides there. And gonna miss. Looks like it's gonna hit over here. Wow. Your calculations are What ship are you guys aiming for? I mean, you're showing the target right there, and you were closer to hitting this guy over here than you were this one. I don't know. Oh, looks like they're finally going to start engaging back. Flashing all around. Wonder how long it take before they make a hit. Some people in the forums have been saying no, the computer seems to be getting hits on the first first shots. Nope. Got lucky. So I've got 10 guns, so I think they're what they said, they're 15 and 15 gun broadside. Oh, I got a hit. A ricochet, but got a hit. I always kind of thought, no, it, it must have been terrifying to be on board one of these battleships in an engagement like this and 
shell splashes are going around all around the ship not knowing if that next hit is going to hit your ship or where you're standing Yeah, it already uh, hit and it did damage. Sailing, all that type of stuff. Oh, I think I got. I finally did some damage. Eighty six. Nice penetration power. Still no identifying features. Looks like I got flooding. Hmm. Incoming and nope, nothing. Well, let's see what. Let's speed it up and get things moving here. Get some damage going. Oh, got a couple more hits. Nothing major, though. The uh, Utah got a couple of hits. Always thought, no, maybe one of my ships did better than the others. hit did all that damage? I thought it was just one cell. Hmm. Oh, got hit on the tower. Huh. Looks like it got hit right there. <laughs> kind of a that's one that they need to work on uh, if the shells are coming in on the port side don't show it on the starboard side and vice versa well, I got a few more hits but not really any more damage Yeah, two more ricochets. Not, not good. Need need more damage. Although, the one hit sure did pretty well. Two partials. Let's see. Hmm. Sailing by each other. I think they've now done it to where if a shell looks like it could hit this one, it will damage this one as well as that one, even if you're aiming at this one. Early on, the it wasn't quite coded to hit both. It was only whatever ship you were aiming at. Ah, there's another hit. Getting more hits. Been hit four times. Ah, the rudder is damaged. Ah, another ricochet. Or blocked, or... Not ricochet. 
blocked or none. Once a once a secondary start coming, that blocked number tends to shoot way up fast. Oh, we're about ready to identify, huh? Identified that one first. One hundred and it's the worth. Hmm. Okay, armor's about no not not much more than what I've got. A bit more in some and less in others. Uh not much faster than my ship. About the same tonnage. Although they have a lot more uh, guns. I think the hull does that one. The, the smaller hull allows more stuff. Let's see, four knots. Come on, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Get some good, get some hits on that guy. Really, really knock him out. And you've got him on the ropes. Knock him out. It's one thing about the computer. It seems to always... Oh, okay, I damaged that one. I'm going to go on to the next one. Damage. And it doesn't really sink anybody. It doesn't finish them off. Again. Although that one got hit pretty hit as well. I guess I'll do it again. I'll let the computer do it. Go on over here. I can't remember the last time I had a battleship turret be knocked out. Cruisers, happens all the time. Destroyers, no problem. Battleship, not so much anymore. It tends to be a bit harder. Let's see. I'm going to really speed things up here. I've got a bad feeling about this battle. Being outgunned pretty good. Now there, I have a feeling there's just the sheer fire volume of firepower is going to eventually overwhelm me. Oh, but he's he's taking a pounding. Gotten some hits. That one ammo explosion. It was not by a main gun though. Oh, whoa. That was surprising. Whoa, you can even see the little boats moving out. All you need are people in them. And I think that's new. I haven't seen that before. Oil slick. Need some rubble and stuff. Like, you know, floating wood planks and all of that. You no, know, I never actually watched one of these ships sink. You can see all the debris. Oh, it just kind of disappears. <laughs> now it's got that. Okay, that's that's different. Okay, never actually watched that before. Ooh. Now I'm 20 to, to 15. But I, I do have a ship damaged here. Now that uh, is worrisome. Get some good damage here before he sinks the Truxton, which isn't a a uh, 
U.S. battleship name, really, that I can... No, not, not a dreadnought battleship. Utah, I believe... Yeah, it's still at Pearl Harbor. It rolled over, sank at Battle of Pearl Harbor, and if I have my uh, information correct off the top of my head, it was moored where the carriers generally uh, were moored. And so that's they attacked that area, and You say they didn't hit a carrier during that battle, but I actually didn't go see it when I was at Pearl Harbor when I was young. Saw the Arizona. Made a big impression on me. So 31, 22, 24. 33, 34, 27, 29, 30, 38, 31, Let's see, 11%, 17%, and 8%. Oh, 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 oh. Got some hits there. Changed some pretty good hits, it looks like. The log. It just. The worth is on fire. No, it's not worth. The O with the umlauts. Oh, I forget how to pronounce that. Worth, 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 something like I think, what is it? W O E R T H, if you were to. Write it out normal. Hmm. Oh, both ships are now damaged. I'm surprised it switched targets. Yeah, I've taken 106. 12 inch shots. Let's see, what do we have? The turret's on fire. They're cooking inside. Wouldn't be a pleasant sight. Or feeling. Hmm. 29%, huh? Oh, an engine's gone on the Utah. Percentage has gone way up. 180 hits, 2.2. Seems like I did a lot less damage against the other battleship and sank it real quick. Meanwhile, this one's taken a pounding. Nope. nope. 20%. Come on, knock it down. 18. There we go. 29, 230. How many hits will it take? 237 hits. That's how many it took to sink it. Well, I was wrong. I really thought being outgunned that much, I would uh, be in bigger trouble. But they came through victorious. And hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next video.